The Republic of Dagestan, also spelled Dagestan, is a federal subject, a republic, of Russia, located in the North Caucasus region. Its capital and largest city is Makakala, located at the center of Dagestan on the Caspian Sea. With a population of 2,910,249, Dagestan is very ethnically diverse and Russia's most heterogeneous republic, with none of its several dozen ethnicities and subgroups forming a majority. Largest among these ethnicities are the Avar, Darjan, Gumak, Lesjan, Lax, Azerbaijani, Tabasaran, and Chechen. Ethnic Russians comprise about 3.6% of Dagestan's total population. Russian is the primary official language in the lingua franca among the ethnicities. Dagestan has been a scene of Islamic insurgency, occasional outbreaks of separatism, and ethnic tension since the 1990s. According to International Crisis Group, the militant Islamist organization Shariat Jamat is responsible for much of the violence. Much of the tension is rooted in an internal Islamic conflict between traditional Sufi groups advocating secular government and more recently introduced Salafist teachers preaching the implementation of Sharia in Dagestan. Toponymy The word Dagestan is of Turkic and Persian origin. Dag means mountain in Turkic and Stan is a Persian suffix meaning land. Dagestan used to be called Kostan. Kuistan, mountainous place, in Persian. When the Persian language gradually faded in those regions and the Turkic language prevailed, the Persian Ko, Q in contemporary Persian, was replaced with its Turkic equivalent Dai. Some areas of Dagestan were known as Albania, Avaria, and Kharkiv at various times. The name Dagestan referred to Dagestan Oblast during 1860 to 1920, corresponding to the southeastern part of the present-day republic. The current borders were created with the establishment of the Dagestan Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic in 1921, by inclusion of the eastern part of Tirek Oblast, which is not mountainous at all but includes the Tirek littoral at the southern end of the Caspian Depression. History in the first few centuries at Caucasian Albania, corresponding to modern Azerbaijan and southern Dagestan, became a vassal and eventually subordinate to the Parthian Empire. With the advent of the Sassanian Empire, it became a satrapy province within the vast domains of the empire. In later, antiquity it was a few times fought over by the Roman Empire and the Sassanid Persians as the former sought to contest the latter's rule over the region, without success. Over the centuries, to a relatively large extent, the peoples within the Dagestan territory converted to Christianity alongside Zoroastrianism. In the 5th century ad, the Samian peregrinations took place from Ukraine to this land, they returned to their natal country by 150 BC. The Sassanids gained the upper hand and constructed a strong citadel at Turbant, known henceforward as the Caspian Gates, while the northern part of Dagestan was overrun by the Huns, followed by the Caucasian Avars. During the Sassanian era, Southern Dagestan became a bastion of Iranian culture and civilization, with its center at Turbant, and a policy of Persianization can be traced over many centuries. In 664, the Persians were succeeded in Turbant by the Arabs, who in the 8th century repeatedly clashed with the Khazars. Although the local population rose against the Arabs of Durbant in 905 and 913, Islam was eventually adopted in urban centers, such as Samandar and Kubaki, Zirachdurin, from where it steadily penetrated into the highlands. By the 15th century, Albanian Christianity had died away, 
leaving a 10th century church at Daytona as the sole monument to its existence. As Mongolian authority gradually eroded, new centers of power emerged in Kaitagi and Targi. In the early 16th century the Persians, under the Safavids, reconsolidated their rule over the region, which would, intermittently, last till the early 19th century. In the 16th and 17th centuries, legal traditions were codified and mountainous communities, Jamats, obtained a considerable degree of autonomy, while the Cumic potentates, Shams, asked for the Tsar's protection following the Russo-Persian War, 1651-53, despite a rushing loss. The Russians intensified their hold in the region for the first time in the 18th century, when Peter the Great annexed maritime Dagestan from Safavid Persia in the course of the Russo-Persian War, 1722-23. The territories however were returned to Persia in 1735 per the Treaty of Ganja. Between 1730 and the early course of the 1740s, Following his brother's murder in Dagestan, the new Iranian ruler and military genius Nader Shah led a lengthy campaign in swaths of Dagestan in order to fully conquer the region, which was met with considerable success, although he was eventually inflicted several decisive defeats by various of the ethnic groups of Dagestan, fording him to retreat with his army. From 1747 and on, the Iranian-ruled part of Dagestan became administered through the Derbent Khanate, with its center at Derbent. The Persian expedition of 1796 resulted in the Russian capture of Derbent in 1796. However, the Russians were again forced to retreat from the entire Caucasus following internal governmental problems, making Iran recapture the territory again. In 1806 the Khanate voluntarily submitted to Russian authority, citation needed, but it was not until the aftermath of the Russo-Persian War, 1804-1813, that Russian power over Dagestan was confirmed, and that Qajar Iran officially ceded the territory to Russia. In 1813, following Russia's victory in the war, Iran was forced to cede southern Dagestan with its principal city of Derbent, alongside other vast territories in the Caucasus to Russia, conform the Treaty of Gulistan The 1828 Treaty of Turkmenchay definitely consolidated Russian control over Dagestan and removed Iran from the military equation. The Russian administration, however, disappointed and embittered the Highlanders. The institution of heavy taxation, coupled with the expropriation of estates and the construction of fortresses, including Makakala, electrified Highlanders into rising under the aegis of the Muslim imamate of Dagestan, led by Ghazi Muhammad, 1828-32, Gamsatbek, 1832-34, and Shamil, 1834-59. This Caucasian war raged until 1864. Dagestan and Chechnya profited from the Russo-Turkish War, 1877-78, to rise together against Imperial Russia for the last time. Chechnya rose again various times throughout the late 19th and 20th centuries. December 21, 1917 Ingushetia, Chechnya and Dagestan declared independence from Russia and formed a single state united mountain dwellers of the North Caucasus, also known as Mountainous Republic of the Northern Caucasus, which was recognized by major world powers. The capital of the new state was moved to Timurkanshura, Dagestan. The first prime minister of the state was elected Tapajirmoy of a Chechen prominent statesman. Second Prime Minister was elected an Ingush statesman Vasin Gyrids Habagiv who also was the author of the Constitution of the Land in 1917, in 1920 he was re-elected for the third term. 
In 1921 Russians attack and occupy the country and forcefully join into the Soviet state. Caucasian War for Independence continues the government goes into exile. After the Bolshevik Revolution, Ottoman armies occupied Azerbaijan and Dagestan and the region became part of the short-lived mountainous Republic of the Northern Caucasus. After more than three years of fighting white movement and local nationalists, the Bolsheviks achieved victory and the Dagestan Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic was proclaimed on January 20, 1921. Nevertheless, Stalin's industrialization largely bypassed Dagestan and the economy stagnated, making the republic the poorest region in Russia. In 1999, an Islamist group from Chechnya, led by Shamil Basayev and Ibn al-Khattab, launched a military invasion of Dagestan, with the aim of creating an independent Islamic state of Dagestan. The invaders were driven back by Russian military. As a retaliation, Russian forces subsequently reinvaded Chechnya later that year. Violence in the Republic exploded from the beginning of 2010 to the end of 2012. This upsurge led many people to claim that Dagestan was about to enter into a situation of sectarian civil war. Dagestan became the epicenter of violence in the North Caucasus with Makakkala, Kaspisk, Durbant, Kasavirt. Kislyar, Sergokola, Unksukal, and Sumata all becoming hotbeds of militant activities. Mm -hmm.